morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a newly, I say newly, it's a dedicated video this based on the hike. So I'm going to go in a bit more detail, guys, exactly where I am, the route, etc. Plus photography as well. Got the one lens, a long lens, 100 to 400. And there we go. So where am I? First of all, um, in the Northern Fells, some of the most northern parts, northern Wainwrights, most northern Wainwrights, actually. Um, and we've got a bit of a, I say a bit of an epic, a bit of a longish one. Uh, in terms of numbers, we're in six, the plan is, six Wainwrights today. So I'm part at Longlands. Um, and then we're heading away up to Longlands Fell. So parking at Longlands, Headed through the gate, which takes you onto Oodale Common, a nice path which continue east, northeast, which finally eventually brings you to a path which then takes you south onto Longlands Fell. Continuing on from Longlands Fell up to Lothwick Fell, which is not a win run, and eventually turning east again through Lord Moss and heading up north up to Bray Fell, then back on yourself a little bit before heading south all the way up to Little Scar Fell, then Great Scar Fell, then heading west towards Mill Fell, dropping down to Trusmador, quickly heading up to Great Cockup, coming back down, back to Trusmador, and then finally making our route back. Weather-wise, I've got a bit of mist on those fells and as we reach higher visibility is going to be interesting but we'll see always on the lookout for photography still it's so good to come to the Lake District and get a walk in where I haven't been bombarded with wind and rain very still today little spit of spatter of rain but really calm photographic opportunities are pretty limited to be honest and i'm just saying to our little lad once we get up towards longlands fell hmm, i'm not sure we're gonna be um inundated with photographic opportunities but we shall see so from the path nice treaded path actually, easy on the feet. From the car park we're going to head up into the fells and our first one, Longlands Fell at 483 metres and that's what we're heading into. Misty eeriness. Now a lot of the northern fells are merely grass, grassy moorlands. This hike today especially is not much going on in terms of crags and interesting rock formations and things um, and especially that couple of coupled with the uh, fog isn't gonna end in uh, interesting photography so pre-war yet but you never know heading our way up to Longlands Fell it's a steady walk a bit boggy on the old feet. Still a bit of rain in the air. I've covered the camera up because I don't see it getting much action. There we go. First fall of the day, Longlands Fell. Just gonna touch this can. Whoosh. Tissues left behind. Oh, never mind. So little lad's still there. He's making his own video. From, so from here, wow, views astonishing. No, so from here, I'm going to continue to head north uh, to Low, Lothwaite Fell, um, which is slightly higher, just uh, around 509 metres. Then head east and southeast to my second wing right, is Bray Fell. There you go, so I'm going to head. Further north up to the North Wakefell, which isn't Wayne right, slightly higher at 
509 meters. Uh, then further north a little bit, but head east and then south and then up Brayfell. Oh, thank goodness I've got to sat now because. Mm, My little lad can talk. He can. can. How's your vlog going? What? Your vlog. You've oh. had to cross that camera. I keep telling him. GoPro focuses about a metre away. But he's like this. Lothwaite fell. Very inspiring. That lad's still lagging behind. He's probably bored. Right, from here then. We're at 409 metres. We're going to slowly head, and it is slowly. Head east and then south east. So the next fell, Bray fell. It doesn't look like the fog is going to lift. Keep with me, you never know. Oh, just the can. So this little ravine here is about as interesting as it gets. Um, we've headed west across Broad Moss and now we're going to head north up towards Bray Fell. Uh, 586 metres and it is boggy. Like a sponge. Treading careful. Ugh. I've got some bad news by the way to report. Just, oh god, navigate. The boots I've had for three years, three and a half years, have finally gone. The glue has come apart from the sole. Oh. What, why? Got Just some naughty. Got some naughty. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the glue has come apart. I'm so my boots. And that means water is getting in. Which isn't ideal. The soles are slowly going as well. But as I say, three and a half years. Yeah. Got full waterproof on today. Very light rain. I'm not going to get drenched. But of course, with the fog, there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere I want to keep as dry as possible so everything by my left foot is dry so a little shelter brave fell and that's our that's our dinner that's our dinner yeah, a couple of peanut butter baguettes, baguettes, bagels, some haribos and some peanuts. Oh. Oh. Okay, so the rain is that real fine stuff. It's constant drizzle. It's um, quite uncomfortable for my little lad because unlike his dad who's got proper waterproof pants on, he hasn't, have you? You got a decent coat. But they're a bit heavy, aren't they? Yeah. They're weighing you down. Yeah. So it's feeling a little bit comfortable. It's not nice. Tap at the shelter there. That's not gonna help. So we're gonna head up to Great Scarfell now. Uh, probably make our way across uh, back west. To meal fell and then see where we are. Do you fancy doing great cock up today? Impossible. Oh, really? It's not yep. a good day. See what we see where we get. Eh? Right, so we made it to meal fell. Yes, we have. Finally, Hooray. it's been hard work. So there's no convincing you 
Have you got a great cock up? No. No, nothing. You want to go back to the car, don't you? I don't blame you. This is the most Wainwrights I've ever done. Most Wainwrights is done. To be fair, I can do it another time, obviously, and a better time for photography wise. Uh, so we're going to head down towards Trusmador. You sure you don't want to do great cock up? Very. There's no convincing there is, him. There is no, there's no way. It's impossible to go to great cock up, and how many steps have I done? There's counting steps. Right, I'm going to head down Trusmador, then head back towards the car. You never know, things might open up. Might get some shots. So at last we've got some views opening up. Great cock up. Still can't convince him. So we're not we're not we're not we're not gonna do it. Little lad's cheered up slightly because he knows he's off to McDonald's now. Oh, can't beat McDonald's though, especially after a hike. Anyway, in typical Lakeland fashion, it's cleared up. Look at that, straight across. Solway Firth. Grabbed a shot, zoomed nearly all the way in. That's in special, got something to grab for some of memories. And the fog has cleared off now but there we go i couldn't convince him to get a great cock up that's for another day i've got a couple of maybe i don't know two three shots in the bag right at the start of the day nothing special but hey ho that's the way it goes sometimes it's a good case though keep smiling bye bye for now Well, that was a very challenging walk indeed, not only due to the conditions with the pounding rain and the poor visibility, but I also had to keep my son entertained. I need to still look after him. He doesn't do a bad job of entertaining himself, to be honest.